Okay, settle down. I know it's spring, but let's rein in the hormones, people. Eyes front, not out the window. You want pretty flowers and birds and bees and whatnot? Take bio. This is chem. Chemistry. This is the science that deals with the naming of the substances in which matter is composed. Our work here investigates their properties and the ways in which they interact, combine, and change. And the use of these processes to form new substances. Excuse me, what? Yes, wise guy. Chemistry is about chemistry. Like between people, yes. The complex emotional interactions between... Please don't call them urges. Okay? The complex emotional interaction between two people, three people, what, like a thruple? What do you know about thruples? You're just, that's for health class. Whatever, it, it's fine, it's cool, whatever. But we do Bunsen burners, we do not. No, you cannot go to the bathroom. Because you went five minutes ago. <sighs> Open your lab books to page 73. Target Mole Lab. <sighs> we are not going to do anything to moles. These are not the moles on your face or the rodent. Uh, you don't know what a mole is? They live in the ground. They dig holes. They have weird hands. In this experiment, we will observe the reaction between zinc and hydrochloric acid. Yes, I know, it is really exciting. It's like a superhero blockbuster movie in the summer. Stay with me, okay? No one is going to hurt a mole. These are tiny, not babies. <sighs> They're invisible, itty bitty. A mole is defined as 6.02214076 to times 10 to the 23rd power of a chemical unit, be it atoms or molecules or ions. A mole is just a convenient unit to use because of the great number of... Yes, this will be on the quiz. This will all be on the quiz. The quiz is when I say it is. Stop rubbing her back. Oh. Are you smoking? There is no smoking in the laboratory. A Bunsen burner is not intended to be used as a lighter. Now, please turn to page 73. In this lab, students, that's all of you, 
will calculate how many zinc and chlorine atoms take part in the reaction, and then predict the mass of the solid product. Got it? The final grade will be determined by the electronic balance. The grade on the quiz. Yes, there will be a quiz. I don't know, next week? No, we can't just watch K-pop videos. We're here to learn. I'll start with the safety instructions. The district requires them after what happened last year. Hydrochloric acid solution is toxic by ingestion or inhalation, severely corrosive to, look, I get it, you're 17, you just want to stare at trees and watch clouds roll by, I'm trying to help you, there are a lot of good careers in chemistry, you could be a pharmacist, that's fun, or go into forensics, unpack crime scenes, and I just want you to have options. I want to show you the world as I see it. And I'm here to help you find the beauty in the rudimentary. So let's get started. Let's get what we need. Acid, zinc, and a beaker. Everybody ready? Goggles on. Go. Hey, hi, hi. Oh, it's so good to talk. How are you? Yes, oh, I just cooked lunch. Pancakes. Yes, for lunch, it's the only thing they'll eat. These are healthy though, gluten-free, you know, almond flour or whatever. So at least there's that. Yeah. Give me just a second. That's enough syrup. Why did you do that? This is $8 a bottle. No, mommy's not mad. Sorry about that. Give me... Give me just one second. It's behind the thing. Yes. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes, you can watch Paw Patrol. Log out of third grade and in to Paw Patrol. Just a minute. Yeah, just, just give me a minute. I told you yesterday. It's behind the thing. Hey, hey, get away from my spinach starts, you damn swirls. Sorry, where were we? Yes, mommy said, damn. I'm growing a garden. It's very relaxing. It's very, it's very, relaxing. it's relaxing. Yeah. Your show is not working. It does that spooling thing, that spinning beach ball thing for a bit. It's going to be okay. How's it going? Yeah. Yes. Yes. That's great. That's great. Huh? What? Just, can you, can you just give me a second? <clears throat> I told you yesterday that it's behind the thing. You have to get low. Squat. Yes, I know your video is spooling. What time is it? It's still two. Yeah. I'm teaching. Yep. AP Chem. 
they're uh, supposed to be taking a test right now. I can't hear you. If you want to say something to me, you have to come in here. Well, they're supposed to be taking a test right now. They're all cheating on a test right now, which is great because I have the classroom open and I can see everything they're doing. Oh my God, it's buffering. A lot of life is buffering and it's important that you learn that now. You know what? Actually, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna open the chat. I can see you. No more cheating. It's pass fail anyway. I just should be glad they even show up. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Why can't you find your own? Mommy is sorry. Mommy was yelling. Mommy is having a hard time emotionally regulating. Mommy wants to laugh one minute and cry the next, okay? See, the thing is, you always want mommy to be like Chase, the German Shepherd, police dog, or Marshall, the fire Dalmatian dog. These dogs keep it together. But mommy, sometimes mommy's feeling a little bit more like the mayor's chicken, okay? Some days mommy really wants to be the stoner dog, Zuma. <laughs> oh, but what I really want to be, what I would give anything to be just for a day just is sweetie, yeah. That's right. I want to be the villain. I want to be in cahoots with the princess of Barkingsburg. I'm to snarl at everyone and flip a table. If you're going to cheat, do it in a private chat. Squirrels, those are mine. You know? You know? Squirrels, mine. Huh? You can invite chives? Really? Oh, I would give anything to cook overly complicated if you ask me one more thing i will cut you hmm. oh <laughs> my mute's been off this whole time well cheers kids Whenever there's a problem around Adventure Bay, Mama and her team of pups will come and save the day. Marshall, Rubble, Chase, Rocky, Zuma, Sky, yay! <laughs> They're on their way. They are. They are. Hi. Love you. I know you said no sad stuff and okay <laughs> I promise I I didn't come here for that I want to be near you I want to say I'm sorry I God no I like this sweater. <laughs> Your favorite sweater. I like, I love this color. It looks, it looked beautiful on you. I 
I miss seeing you during. It was strange not to. I don't know. Go for a drink? Take a walk? I mean, we did walk at some point, right? But that got hard with the kids. Going ahead. You know, they have no idea of where they are. <laughs> Falling behind. Riding their bikes like little stupid maniacs. <laughs> I just wanted you to know that your kids are okay. Not okay, but... We're doing what we can. They said they're gonna ease up on the rules, but you know, <sighs> summer came and went, red and orange, um, fall gave way, <laughs> so many minutes, winter gave way too, now it's spring. And we have flowers like that one. I'm still teaching. It's different. <clears throat> but the kids are just the same. <laughs> you know, there was a point where I thought I would teach forever. Now, I want a job that'll pay me to travel the world. can't go anywhere as of yet now there's my kids your kids don't worry we call them every day I read to them every day <laughs> every single day um, actually I'm reading The Wind in the Willows. <laughs> I hope you like that book. I never asked. I didn't need to. I didn't need to. This is a great sweater, isn't it? <laughs> He gave it to me when I dropped some food out, food off at your house, at his house. Your kids waving through the window. I can't keep it, he said. It smells like her, like you. <laughs> it does. I took the sweater, <laughs> obviously, I left some soup, I waved, he waved, that was your funeral. I promise you I take care of those kids and I will I also promised you jokes <laughs> you want to hear one you ready okay courtesy of my daughter <sighs> what do you call uh, what do you call a broken can opener? <laughs> a can't opener. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Gold, right? <laughs> you 
kids really like this book. <laughs> I had to explain to them what a mole was. Not the unit of measurement. Just... As they stared blankly in dumb misery, deepening as they slowly realized all they had seen and all they had lost, a capricious little breeze dancing up from the surface of the water tossed the aspens, shook the dewy roses, blew lightly and made them forget. In forgetting, they could be lighthearted like before.